โอเคอัพไนท์เราสามารถเล่นแฟมฮ่องกงและเชื่อมกับอัพฟรีสิ่งทอลถึงนิวส์มาฮ่องกงและเขาพบมาสิสเตนส์สปอร์ตเด็ดนั่นคือแฟมมันเดอร์ Thank you โอเคแทสติ้งแทสติ้งโอเค Is it is it time to start yet A bit earlier Okay 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 I want Um, hopefully, you have a good morning. Um, so uh, maybe I can first briefly introduce myself. Uh, I am from Hong Kong. I'm one of the uh, women t e c h n i c a l s s ambassador in Hong Kong. I also help uh, organize some other events uh, for GDG Cloud and Product in Hong Kong. I myself is a product manager uh, working for Mickey Mouse. Um, so yeah, so uh, working for Hong Kong this event. Uh, ecosystem using h o m e system. I have some little bit experience of it, but I'm not an expert of it either. So I just share my own experience. So uh, yeah. yeah, anyone of you have already invested in smart home, like like uh, smart home products, play some lights, and then right all that kind of things, right? So. Um, Maybe let's recap a little bit. What is home assistant? Maybe this term is not familiar to some of you. Maybe most of the people play smart home. They usually use either Google Assistant, Apple Home Kit, or some other like Alexa, right? So those ecosystems are pretty mature. But home assistant is more like an open source project, which is totally. Run, run locally, locally you, you can actually run out, out of your own Raspberry Pi. Pi. It, It tries, tries to uh, awaken your, your home. home. Obviously, this is an open source project. You, you can um, you can view its source code. code. You, you can, can make some adjustments to it, and you can also contribute to the community. So, so these four guys were the founders of uh, Home Assistant. Um, they, they focus on making this is your smart home control more local and, local and privacy, privacy first, because a lot of the home, uh, smart home integrations right now are really cloud based. You have to share a lot of interactions. You, when you ask, like like ask your smart home to do something, right? You have to uh, send your message to the cloud, and then the cloud will try to do something for you, and then send it back to your local device. It takes a few round trip of uh, like like traffic. Which, which is slow, slow and um, some people may be concerned about privacy. privacy. So, so you, you can, can actually use a Raspberry Pi or any some like a single board computers, computers, or you even have a spare PC or, or Mac. You can use it to uh, install Home Assistant on it. it. Um, obviously, uh, if, if you, you use the Home Assistant OS, OS you will have much more features than install it out of a container. So that's, that's uh, one, one of the tips uh, if you want to run it. Better run it. Totally related with Amazon uh, uh, OS. Um, so it, it works, works like this. Uh, actually, you have a Raspberry Pi or some other single board computer. You can also buy a, a product from the Home Assistant team. They recently launched a hardware called Yellow, which is also based on Raspberry Pi compute module. And, and these, these you can, can actually run, run uh, uh, a lot of, of the integrations integration locally. Um, with, with Apple Home Kit support, support as well, as well. so uh, you, you can, can do that. that. Uh, if, if you want to use some cloud features, features they, they also have a Labu Casa cloud that, that you can, can subscribe. It's only 6.5 US dollars per month, month or 65 US dollars per year. Uh, by, by using their cloud, cloud, you can, can actually integrate, integrate uh, with uh, Google, Google, Alexa, and other uh, mobile app that, that they can uh, provide to you. So, so uh, you, you can, can control your stuff remotely uh, with, with the cloud. cloud. Otherwise, if you want, just want to use um, your smart home uh, devices at home locally, uh, you, you can, can just use this one with an subscription. 
So, so um, a, lot a lot of you, of you might, might have, have heard, heard about, about matter, matter right? right? Have, have you heard about, about this standard? standard? This, this is, is actually a new standard by uh, uh, organization, organization called Connectivity Standards, Standards Alliance. Alliance. So, so this, this um, group, group of, of uh, this, this group, group is actually uh, proposing a new standard for, for the smart, smart home industry. industry. So, so basically, um, you, you have, have a lot, lot of ecosystems like right? Apple, Alexa, Alexa uh, uh, smart, smart things from Samsung, Samsung Google, Google Home. Um, um, so, so these are ecosystem and cloud, cloud layer. layer. Um, but but Meta actually, actually sits, sits below that, that layer. layer. Uh, uh, it's, it's actually a uh, uh, application layer that, that uh, spread, spread across. across. And underlying the, the application layer with the, uh, some, some network of transport layer that you actually uh, may be familiar with, with like, like 6B, Thread, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And you can, you can see, see that uh, Meta actually spread, spread across um, multiple uh, network, network transport, transport layer, layer. Uh, uh, mainly, mainly focus on Thread and Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi. Uh, but, but you, you use, you use uh, 6B as bridge, bridge and use Bluetooth, and use Bluetooth for provisioning as well. well. Um, and and, and un- the, the most physical layer would be the I, uh, IEEE standards, standards, which I would not, not go through in detail. detail. So, so um, this, this matter standard is actually supported by most smart home players, players in the market. market. Uh, uh, Amazon, Apple, uh, Google, Google and, um, and, 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 and Samsung, Samsung and all the, the major smart home players, players are actually launching the new uh, smart home products and software. Uh, which, uh, which will support, support Meta, Meta uh, going, going forward. forward. So, so if, if you are going to uh, invest into any smart, smart home uh, appliances or uh, smart home devices, better, better check, check whether the, the device, device that you're, you're going to buy will support, support Meta standard. Meta standard. Um, um, uh, by, by supporting Meta standard, standard it will help you to um, like, like work, work across multiple, multiple ecosystems. So, so you, you can, can just previously, if you, you buy a uh, a device, device uh, only, only designed for, for Alexa, Alexa or Google, Google right? right? Um, um, but, but you cannot, cannot use it in your iPhone. iPhone. But, but um, if, if you use Matter, then, then you can actually add those devices, devices to your uh, Apple Home as well. So, so this, this is one, one of the advantages advantage of using Matter. And uh, currently, uh, currently Matter is in its uh, early stage. stage. Uh, the standard, standard was announced, announced in October last year. year. And uh, it's still in 1.1 stage. One stage. Uh, it, it, it actually supports uh, light bulbs and some plugs, locks, thermostats, and uh, some blinds, shades, curtains, and some sensors, uh, etc. But, uh, but uh, it does not support some other like, like heavy power usage uh, devices, devices yet, yet, like, like um, washing machine, machine or ro- ro- robot vacuums or some security cameras. cameras. Are still being, being worked, worked on, on, so, so they, they are more like, like um, a, 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 a standard, standard that, that is still in development. development. So, so this is uh, uh, a, a very fast evolving stage. stage. Every, Every month, month there is new uh, happenings, happenings on uh, or announcements by Meta and, and other uh, manufacturers. manufacturers. So, so keep an eye on it, it. and uh, if, if you, you want, want to use Meta for Robot, robot vacuums, vacuums, for example, for example um, that, that may be uh, something happening in, in, in a few, few months, months or so. So, so one, one of the uh, underlying technology that, that Matter uh, supports is, is Thread. Thread. Um, so, so you may have heard of this standard, standard before. Um, it's, it's also, also another uh, uh, standard uh, which uh, Matter, Matter supports. It's, it's actually an IPv6 based wireless protocol. And um, many devices nowadays actually can add as, as a, a border router for Thread. So uh, Thread is a network standard that is, which is more like, like a mesh style, style connection, connection, right? So, um, you, you, but if, if you, you have, have a border router, router like, like a HomePod or HomePod Mini or a desktop, uh, they add as a, a router for, for you to connect your, your own local smart home devices, which, which supports thread, thread to connect to the um, other like, like internet router, router and uh, to, to the, the internet, internet right? right? So, so these, these are um, some, some of the uh, devices, devices that you can, can buy in the market, market which, which is acting as a thread router. router. However, uh, bear, bear in mind that, that um, 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 device that, that supports thread, thread doesn't, doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that, that it supports matter. matter. So um, you, you have, have to check whether the device that uh, 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 your, your thread, thread devices actually support matter. matter. So, so 
um, uh, some, some, some devices may support matter through the way of upgrading the uh, firmware. firmware. So, so some, some, some manufacturers, manufacturers actually promise to, like, like, uh, to, to up update their, their firmware. firmware. But, but some, some devices may be uh, launched a few years, years back. They may not have enough memory. They may not have enough, enough processing power. So um, chances, chances are they may not be able to update to the, to the newest standard. standard. And, and there's, there's another, another way of matter support, support which, which is uh, being done by Wi-Fi. Wi -Fi. Um, um, there are a lot of smart plugs or um, light, light bulbs. bulbs. They, they are more like, like uh, power, power consuming, consuming, right? Because um, uh, obviously, obviously you, you have light, light up, up uh, light, light bulb, bulb, it takes more power, power but, but it has its, its, its own power source, source. so, so uh, uh, power, power isn't an issue, issue for them. them. So, so these devices can, can actually use, use Wi-Fi to control, control it. it. Um, so, so some examples uh, uh, that uh, being announced recently that, that they will have metal support, support will be these kind of uh, brands. But there are more and more, and more uh, joining, joining the camp as well. So, so um, uh, keep, keep an, an eye, eye on, on that, that as well. well. Um, they, they, they have, have their, their own advantage. advantage. Wi-Fi is more widely available, available. It's more mature, mature standard. And, and um, it, it, it depends, depends whether, whether you want um, um, the... Uh, connectivity and range, and range uh, versus uh, uh, the, the newest uh, standard. So there are, there's, there's a comparison, comparison table here. here. Uh, thread is more, more on, on the sensors, sensors. they're more very low power consumptions, consumptions. usually um, uh, uh, with, with some, some sensors, sensors or some, some other, other uh, uh, low power consumption devices. devices. Uh, the, uh, the range, range is pretty, pretty good uh, because, because it, it uses, uses a mesh network, network to connect among the devices, but not, not as good as, as Wi-Fi, Wi obviously, because, because Wi-Fi Wi you can keep on extending your range, range right? right? Uh, uh, bandwidth for thread devices, devices will be a bit low. low. It's, it's more like, like transmitting, transmitting the state signals on, off, or uh, volume level, level, or brightness level, level and all that kind of things. things. Security both-wise are pretty good. good. Uh, obviously, Thread is a new standard, standard and, and it's more like, like have, have they, they have this, this make, make smart, smart home design, design uh, uh, in, uh, in, in the, the very beginning, beginning in their, their mind. So, so they have more end-to-end -end -end encryption. encryption. Wi-Fi Wi depends on whether how, how you set up your Wi-Fi. Wi if you use, if you do not have any encryption, then it's not not good, right? So. Thread devices, devices are high price, price right, right now, and um, Wi-Fi Wi -Fi devices are more common and, and therefore lower price. price. In, In terms, terms of how Home Assistant a a, uh, supports uh, for, for Thread, uh, it's still at a very, very early stage. stage. I will come through that uh, later. Uh, In for Wi-Fi Wi devices, devices, it's already in beta stage. stage. So um, if, if you, you have Wi-Fi enabled devices, devices uh, that's that's post matter. matter. Uh, chances, chances to, to connect, connect that, that to, to the home assistant will be higher. higher. So um, let's, let's talk about, about how matter supports uh, uh, how home assistant supports matter. matter. And, and it's, it's actually a uh, home assistant is actually the matter, matter controller, controller here, here. This, this row. row. Um, it, it helps helps, co uh, helps, uh, helps uh, control um, um, all the devices. devices in between, in between uh, the, the broader, broader router, router and, and the uh, and, and the matter devices, devices here, and, and help, help you connect, connect to the, the internet. internet. Um, um, so, so you can, can make, make use of the uh, home, home assistant's own capability, capability to control, control the devices. The devices. So, so home assistant is an open source project. Open source uh, uh, users and developers are uh, actively, actively actively involved to improve the uh, the software. So, so you, you can, can do a lot of advanced things like, like the, the, the rules and uh, you, you can, can create, create your own dashboards, you can, can create your own uh, automation um, schemes that, that uh, for example, uh, like, like you, you can set up different conditions to power up your devices at, at certain, certain times or certain events. events. So, so here's, here's an example. Uh, if, if you use Home Assistant with, with a companion app, app uh, in uh, either, either iPhone, iPhone or Android, Android devices, devices, you, you can, can actually pair up, up a matter device, device uh, pretty, pretty easily. So, so first, you, you have to set, set up your device in, in, uh, in a pairing mode. mode. Uh, I, I use uh, SwitchBot 2 as an example, which is supporting matter over Wi-Fi. 
So, so in home assistant, you can just uh, use uh, uh, go to device and, and, and services and then add a device and you can just choose map the device and um, it, it will ask you to scan a QR code, QR code. and uh, usually the, the package of the uh, better device, device uh, will have a QR, QR code for you to scan. scan. It's more like connecting a home kit device. device. Very, Very similar process. process. Once, Once you have done that, that uh, you uh, detect, detect the device and then, then you have just uh, enter the setup code. code. Uh, the, uh, the setup code, code is also available in the package, in the package usually. usually. And then and you can add the home assistant. assistant. That's, That's pretty, pretty simple. simple. So um, if, if you, you want to control the meta device and home assistant, assistant uh, uh, once it's added to, 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 to the software, you can actually control it. it. And, and you can, can also uh, read the readings of the device uh, uh, in within, within home assistant. assistant. So, so um, and, and you, you may see that, that um, these, these devices, devices are Wi-Fi devices, right? right? So, so what, what about, about threat devices in home assistant? Just as, as, as I mentioned, um, it's still, still at very early stage. stage. A, a lot, lot of the threat uh, protocol, protocol right, right now is more proprietary. Um, you can, can see it here, there's, there's a mass, uh, passage here uh, uh, that, that's uh, in, in the home assistant wiki, it says that each vendor has, has its, its own network and uh, its, its own protocol, especially for uh, Apple and, and Google, they, they have their own credentials and they are not talking to each other right now. now. So, so uh, right, right now, now there is a new standard called OpenThread uh, proposed by Google, Google that, that uh, tries to um, standardize the threat standard. But, but it's still in the uh, early stage, stage and uh, not, not a lot of uh, brands actually have uh, implemented the threat yet. yet. So, so uh, this, this is, is a space that is still in the heavy development. Um, right, right now, uh, there is uh, integration for Home Assistant for uh, open threat, threat. Um, but, but it is actually not, not, not too mature to use yet. yet. So, so let, let me try, try to do a demo. demo. Um, um, I'm a little bit nervous about this because, because I'm connecting to my home <laughs> computer <laughs> over a, a mo mobile hotspot. So, okay. So, okay. so, so this, this is my room, room and uh, uh, the left hand side, side is my home assistant instance. instance. Um, so, so I've already connected to the, uh, the, the curtains, curtains here. here. So, so this, this is my room's curtains. curtains. I can actually control uh, open, open and, and close, close it. it. Let, Let me see, see if it works. works. Mm -hmm. The connection, the connection is, is actually not, not doing, doing good. good. Oh, let, let me play, play a video. video. Yeah, yeah, the, the connection, connection is, is a slow, that's, that's why. why. One, One second. second. <sighs> Hiya. Hiya. Wow, wow. Yes. it's... Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Wow. Okay, let's, let's try, try again. again. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Yeah, 
प्यारा है इन द मीन टाइम एनी क्वेश्चंस सो फार मेबी आई कैन आंसर सम क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट मेबी कैन फाइंड Let's, Let's do, do this, this again. Hamama. Okay. Let's, Let's try. try. So, so this, this is how it work. Um, well, well, it's, it's actually, actually going, going through the uh, integration. I guess it's opening, opening and closing, closing the, the curtains. And, and also, um, you, you can. Um, Read some of the values from the from the hardware as well. Yeah, there's some still some delay because of the Wi-Fi connection is not as quick. But you can see from here you can you can also read some of the states. It can, it can populate, populate different states, states whether, whether it's open or closed, and then, and then you, can you can do some triggering of that, that as well. well. Um, and you and can, can see there is also a temperature sensor and humidity, humidity sensor out of the hardware. You, you can see its history, and you can also see uh, the trend for humidity as well. So yeah, yeah. Um, based, based on that, you can set up different rules and conditions. conditions. Say, 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 for example, uh, if, if the temperature is above a certain degree, like 30 degrees, uh, you, you close, close the windows, windows or close, close, the, the, close, close the curtains. curtains. Okay. okay. Oops. So, so uh, uh, that, that's uh, for, for the master support. support. In, In Home Assistant, Assistant there is also some new development recently. If you, if you monitor, monitor how it, uh, the, the, the news. Um, they are actually trying to implement the voice assistant locally. You can you can run a uh, voice assistant all locally from your home assistant device, like Raspberry Pi. Um, they are still progressing it, uh, but there are some interesting development. So, for example, uh, you can uh, control. Um, Using, using some uh, very cheap, cheap hardware to control, uh, uh, use, uh, use it as a, 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 a trigger, trigger to, to do, do a voice assistant. assistant. And, and yeah, yeah, so, so you can, can just see it's pretty, pretty quick, quick to turn, turn on turn on, on the uh, device. device. And, and they're, they're even supporting, supporting some uh, Advanced features like, like you can connect, connect to a traditional, traditional phone to do, do Okay. And, and there's, there's also, also a smart, uh, smart watch uh, update recently in, in, in the June release, release. So, so you can, can uh, control your home devices, devices out of a smart watch. watch. So, so uh, home assistant is an interesting project. project. It is being um, updating every, every month. month. So, so there's there's every month there's a new feature, feature and, and you can, can actually join the community, community and, and try to use, use that. And, and and also um, um, they're supporting multiple, multiple languages, uh, including uh, Chinese. Um, so, so it, it's uh, it's they're focusing, focusing on the, the a lot of the integrations right now on Android devices. They're still looking, looking for capable iOS developers to develop the integration in, in the iPhone side. side. And, and they, they have, have a new um, they have, have a new, new Assist uh, integration. So, so there's, there's, there's their, their own, own voice assistant, assistant is called Assist, assist and, and they, they have OpenAI open integration as well. So, so if you have an OpenAI um, developer, developer account, account, you can actually connect that, that to a home assistant, assistant. and then, then you can, can use. use uh, uh, it's still based, based on a very uh, older, older model on GPT-3, but, but it's actually quite 
good enough for you to enquire some of the uh, your smart home device uh, state and all that. All that. But, but because, because of the, the privacy concerns, it cannot support controlling your device by uh, voice, voice yet. yet. It can it only support, support like um, if, if you ask whether the, the light is on or off, or whether which whether the, 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 the state of a uh, particular device, device can, can do that. that. And, and you can, can also configure it to support different language, language and uh, 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 test, test, test speech and, uh, and engines. And uh, if, if you're using Android, uh, uh, recently, recently they also support like, like having multiple instances. instances. Uh, so, so if you, you have, have different homes, like, like you, have you have multiple homes, homes you, 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 you want, want to control it within, within one, one app, app, you can, can actually uh, connect to different, different home assistant servers. servers. And, and through the Windows, Windows system, system for, for Android, Android in Windows 11, 11 you can also uh, use Home Assistant uh, app, app, Android, Android app on Windows, Windows as well. So, so yeah, yeah, so, so here's here some uh, resources. resources. I, I will share this stack. stack. Uh, I don't know how, how, how do we share it. <laughs> but uh, if, if you are interested, interested to have access, access to this stack, I can actually share this. this. Uh, uh, there are also some great YouTube, YouTube channels, channels if you want to get kickstarted uh, on, on Smart Home. home. Uh, uh, highly recommend these YouTube channels. channels. Um, yes, yes, and uh, feel free to uh, join the community and, and, and try to experiment. Uh, the exciting world of smart home. home. Yeah, yeah, so home, home assistant, assistant will assist, assist you as a matter matters. matters. Thank, Thank you. you. Question, Question time. time. Uh, is there any questions question that we would like, like to ask our speaker, speaker about, about matter? matter? Okay, yeah, if no, so, so thank you to Amanda, Amanda for the, for the for talk about the home assistant smart home protocol. Thank, thank you. you. And so, um, um, our, our next, next section, section will be. be uh, sorry. So, so our, our next, next session, session will be at 11.30 11 about, about how to use Ferro later, later by our, our next speaker. speaker. So, so feel free, free to come, come back at 11.30 a.m. We will show you the next session at 11.30 a.m. We will show you the next session at 11.30 a.m. We will show you the next session at 11.30 a.m.